we coalesced um, what understanding we have to date in six principles that we'll talk a lot more about this evening, but they are these six, being problem-centered, problem and user-centered, paying attention to variation, understanding the system that gives rise to things, paying attention to measurement, having shared disciplined inquiry, and organizing collectively in networks. But what they, these things do, they help scaffold improvement by filling knowledge gaps. Typically in our work, all of us, we feel like what we're doing is trying to close the awareness ignorance gap. Think about the last great thing you created, right? Mostly what we are all concerned with is that it work. And we want to tell other people that it works. Uh, we want to identify quality ideas and we want to do research to help us assess promise. These are important things to do. But in addition, we ought to be closing what um, Jeff Pfeffer and Bob Sutton call the knowing doing gap. We ought to be thinking about how we perfect execution for know-how, how interventions is changed by context, and we need to understand for the things that we build what is necessary, a thing that we've come to call standard work, and what's sort of optional in various settings. When you do that, what you're trying to do is understand how to take the content of your science and innovation and match it to various contexts. These things happen because of work processes and participation structures. And when you create an equitable learning environment, you are really paying close attention to whether lots of people across context have access and the outcomes are the same, and that people across context have a voice in how things are done. And I think these, access, outcome, and catalyzing voice are the two sort of broad shoulders, big arms of social justice. And so we really need to pay careful attention to things like that variation we talked about. We need to make, we need to pay attention to the fact that, or to the, we need to pay attention to outcomes such that we hold ourselves accountable for similar, nearly the same outcomes across contexts. And we need to pay attention to the fact that local knowledge is important and local voice is important. Um, Charles Payne wrote a wonderful paper, I think in 2008, talking about why we have so much refor reform, so little change. And part of the reason we believe that there has been so little change is that we haven't figured out good ways to pay attention to voice of those who are part of, who should be a part of the interventions we're creating. So we think that inequity can be redressed through disciplined application of those six principles, and equity itself lives in the details of process and practice. <laughs>